VCAR Pro, and I'm going to show you how to take the SVG we created in Episode 7 and use it with the CNC to make your gantry. I need to tell you that there is an update to that code. It is now version 1.1. I changed it in the description of Episode 7. Highly recommend you go back, recopy it, put it in because it fixes a spacing error that occurs sometimes when the rail width is different than the bearing width. And you definitely want to get it right or you're going to find your holes are slightly misspaced. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and create a file. I'm going to use a 300 by 300 millimeter board. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go Import the SVG that we created with OpenSCAD. When we do, nothing seemed to come in. but what you find often with OpenSCAD is it puts the 00, zero the top left-hand corner instead of the bottom left-hand corner like we're more familiar with. So it's actually hidden down here at the bottom. If you hit G, it will group all the vectors that came in into a single group. Click on it twice, grab it, and you can drag it up on your canvas. And I'll scoot up just a little bit more. If you get it right in the center, you can put the crosshairs and center it on your board both ways. Now we're set. I'll click on it one more time. Hit U to ungroup those vectors. Click off. Hold down the Shift button. Keep it held down and left click each of the rectangles. We're not going to actually be machining those. I'm going to click Delete just to get rid of them. I'm going to hold my left mouse button drag to select all the drill holes. Go up to Tool Paths. Go to Pocket Tool Path. I'm going to use an eighth inch end mill. I'm actually using a compression bit but an eighth inch. These holes are five and six millimeters. You never want to use the same size drill bit as a down cut as the holes you're drilling. So I like to do pockets and use a smaller sized uh, bit. And we're going to generate this, preview it. And there's our holes drilled. If we want to check how long that would have taken, about three minutes. Now we were only going three millimeters in depth. Obviously, if you're going to be Using this, you're going to probably want a much thicker board, maybe three quarters of an inch of plywood, and you would adjust your drill paths so that it, you know, obviously takes little small chunks all the way down through the board. This is good for a template that I did on really, really thin piece of plywood. Good luck at making your gantry. If you don't have a CNC, can't get access to one, then print your template out and just hand drill these out.